In the heart of the ancient world, two mighty empires stood on the brink of a confrontation that would etch their names in the annals of history. This was no ordinary squabble. This was a clash of titans, a power struggle between two of the greatest empires the world had ever seen. On one side, the Macedonian Empire, led by the young and ambitious Alexander the Great. On the other, the Persian Empire, sprawling and mighty, under the rule of Darius III. Alexander, barely into his twenties, had already proven himself a formidable leader, uniting the Greek city-states and leading his army to victory against the Persians at the Battle of Issus. His sights were set on nothing less than the conquest of the known world. Across the battlefield, Darius, King of Kings, lorded over the largest empire the world had ever seen. He was a seasoned ruler, his wealth and power unrivaled. The stakes were immense. For Darius, it was about preserving his legacy and the integrity of his empire. For Alexander, it was about fulfilling a grand vision of a world under Macedonian rule. The tension between these two empires had been brewing for years, a pot of political unrest, territorial disputes and personal ambition, finally reaching its boiling point. The Battle of Gaugamela, the final and most decisive confrontation between these two titans, was looming on the horizon. The Macedonian and Persian armies, each a formidable force in its own right, were preparing for a face-off that would shake the very foundations of their world. The air was thick with anticipation, the ground trembling under the weight of thousands of soldiers, their swords gleaming in the fading light. Alexander, with his characteristic audacity, was ready to take on the Persian behemoth. Darius, with his vast experience and resources, was equally determined to crush the Macedonian upstart. As the sun set on the eve of October 1st, 331 BC, the stage was set for a battle that would change the course of history. As dawn broke, the vast plains of Gaugamela transformed into an arena of war. The air was thick with anticipation and a sense of imminent danger. The quiet hum of thousands of soldiers preparing for battle resonated across the field, creating an eerie symphony of impending chaos. On one side stood the formidable Persian forces, their numbers swelling like the sea under the command of the Persian king, Darius. His army, a kaleidoscope of cultures and warfare techniques, was strategically positioned to take advantage of the plain's vast expanse. His chariots, equipped with deadly scythes, were ready to mow down any who dared to stand in their path. Opposite them, the smaller, but no less impressive Macedonian army, led by none other than Alexander the Great, held their ground. Despite being outnumbered, Alexander's men were far from deterred. Their formation, the famous Macedonian phalanx, was a formidable wall of shields and long spears, ready to meet the Persian onslaught. As the battle commenced, Alexander made the first move. In an unexpected strategy, he led his companion cavalry on a diagonal march to the right. This unusual move put Darius on the back foot. The Persian king, expecting a head-on collision, was caught off guard. He quickly ordered his left flank to pursue Alexander, inadvertently stretching his lines thin. At the same time, the Macedonian phalanx advanced slowly but steadily forward, their spears bristling like a forest of death. The initial clash was brutal. The Macedonian spears met with the Persian infantry, initiating a deadly dance of thrust, parry and counter-thrust. The air was filled with the cacophony of clashing steel and the cries of the fallen. Despite the brutal onslaught, both sides held their ground. The battle had only just begun, and the strategies laid out by both commanders were being put to the test. The Macedonians pushed forward, their phalanx acting as a battering ram, while the Persians countered with their scythe chariots creating havoc in the Macedonian lines. The first wave of the battle had been unleashed, and the fate of two empires hung in the balance. The plains of Gaugamela were no longer just a battlefield. They were the stage for one of history's greatest clashes, a battle that would decide the fate of the known world. In the heat of the battle, the tides of fortune began to shift. As the dust swirled and the ground shook under the thunderous clash of armies, a pivotal moment was upon them. The Battle of Guajamela, a clash of titans between Alexander the Great and the Persian king, had reached its zenith. It was here, in this whirlwind of chaos and courage, that the Macedonian leader made a daring move that would alter the course of history. 
As the Persian forces spread their ranks thin, attempting to envelop Alexander's army, the Macedonian king spotted a weakness. A gap had formed in the Persian center, an opportunity too enticing to ignore. With his companion cavalry at his side, Alexander led a charge straight into the heart of the Persian formation. It was a bold, risky maneuver, one that could have led to his end had it failed. But fortune favors the brave. The charge was like a spear thrust into the flesh, causing disarray in the Persian ranks. The disciplined Macedonian phalanx held their ground, forming an anvil against which the Persian forces were hammered. The Persian center buckled under the onslaught, their lines breaking, soldiers scattering in panic and confusion. This was not a mere tactical decision, but a psychological one. Alexander was not just breaking the Persian lines, he was shattering their morale, their belief in victory. The sight of their king, charging fearlessly into the enemy, inspired the Macedonian troops and struck fear into the hearts of the Persians. The chaos that ensued from this audacious charge was the turning point of the Battle of Guajamila. The Persian forces, once a formidable foe, were now a disjointed mass, unable to mount a coordinated response. With a single decisive act, Alexander had turned the tide of the battle. This was more than just a charge. It was a statement, a declaration of Alexander's determination and strategic brilliance. It was the moment that would lead to the fall of the Persian Empire and the rise of Alexander as one of the greatest military leaders in history. In the face of overwhelming odds, the Persian king made his final stand. The king, Darius, looked out upon the battlefield, a tableau of chaos and despair, and yet he refused to yield. He rallied his troops with fervor, a desperate attempt to turn the tide of the battle. Darius's orders echoed across the battlefield, a clarion call to his weary soldiers. He urged them to stand tall, to fight with everything they had. He reminded them of their homes, their families, and the empire they had sworn to protect. The air was thick with desperation and hope, as Darius made his final stand against the relentless force of Alexander the Great. Even as his men fell around him, Darius fought valiantly. His sword danced in the fading light, a beacon of resistance amidst the despair. He was a king, a commander, a warrior, and in this moment, he embodied the spirit of the Persian Empire, a spirit that refused to be extinguished. But alas, the strength of one man, even a king, could not stand against the might of an entire army. The Macedonian forces, led by Alexander, were too powerful, their strategies too well executed. The Persian lines crumbled under their assault, their defense shattered like glass against stone. The final moments of the battle were a symphony of clashing steel and desperate cries. The Persian forces, once a formidable army, were now a scattering of broken men. Their hopes dashed upon the unforgiving reality of war. Darius, seeing the futility of further resistance, made the difficult decision to retreat, to flee from the battlefield and the devastation that had ensued. His flight marked the end of the Battle of Gaugamela, a battle that would forever be etched in the annals of history. It was a crushing defeat for the Persian Empire, a blow from which they would never recover. It was the moment when the sun began to set on the once mighty empire. As Darius fled, the sun set on the Persian Empire. The world watched in silent awe and dread, as one era ended and another began, an era dominated by a young Macedonian king named Alexander. In the wake of the battle, a new order emerged. The Battle of Gaugamela, a monumental clash that reverberated through the pages of history, had concluded. The dust had settled, the clamor of war had silenced, and what remained was the stark reality of victory and defeat. Alexander the Great had triumphed, his Macedonian army standing tall amidst the ruins, a testament to their prowess and strategic genius. For them, the victory was not just a military success, but a catalyst to their burgeoning empire. Their dominion expanded, their influence grew, and the world, as they knew it, was changing. The Persian Empire had been a formidable adversary, but now it lay subdued under the Macedonian might. Yet, the aftermath of Gaugamela was not just about the victors. The defeated Persians, once the rulers of a vast empire, were now grappling with the harsh realities of their defeat. Their king, Darius III, had fled, leaving his empire in the hands of the victorious Alexander. The power balance had shifted drastically, and the Persian Empire was now a part of the Macedonian sphere of influence. The Battle of Gaugamela was not merely a historical event, 
it was a turning point that changed the course of history. The victory of Alexander at Gaugamela marked the end of the Persian Empire's dominance and the beginning of Hellenistic influence, a period characterized by the spread of Greek culture across the Middle East and beyond. The repercussions of this battle were felt far and wide. It changed the geopolitical landscape, it altered cultural norms, it set the stage for the rise and fall of empires. The Battle of Gaugamela was a testament to the fact that victories and defeats on the battlefield often resonate beyond the immediate, shaping the world in ways that echo through the ages. Indeed, the Battle of Gaugamela was more than a clash of armies, it was a clash of cultures, a clash of eras, a clash that paved the way for the new world order. The Battle of Gaugamela marked the end of one era and the dawn of another. The world had changed, and it would never be the same again. The echoes of the Battle of Gaugamela continued to resonate through the corridors of time. As the dust settled and the clamor of swords and shields subsided, the world found itself standing at a new dawn. A dawn orchestrated by the genius of one man, Alexander the Great, and his indomitable will. The Battle of Gaugamela was not merely a clash of armies or a test of might. It was a pivotal moment that would forever shape the course of human history. Alexander's victory against the Persian king didn't just mark the end of an era, it heralded the birth of a new epoch. The aftermath of the battle saw the once mighty Persian Empire crumble, making way for the rise of the Macedonian Empire under Alexander. His reign, however, was not just about territorial gains. It was an era of cultural synthesis, where the East and West met and mingled. Alexander's policy of fusion resulted in the Hellenistic Age, a period marked by advancements in science, arts, and philosophy. But the legacy of the Battle of Gaugamela extends beyond the confines of the Hellenistic Age. The tactical brilliance displayed by Alexander during the battle has been a subject of study for military strategists across generations. His innovative use of cavalry, his ability to adapt to the enemy's strategies, and his leadership skills have become timeless lessons in warfare. Furthermore, the battle's influence is seen in the broader context of world history. It was a catalyst for the spread of Greek culture, language, and ideas, which played a significant role in shaping the Western civilization. The democratic ideals, the philosophical thoughts, and the artistic expressions that form the bedrock of modern society all trace their origins back to this period. More than two millennia later, the Battle of Gaugamela remains a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity, the relentless pursuit of ambition, and the inexorable march of history. A reminder of a time when the fate of empires was decided on the battlefield, and the course of history was forever changed.